Hello. So on Sunday, we shared with our church community our decision for physical gatherings uh, going forwards from the autumn. And we said that after a long process with lots of prayer, with lots of discussion within our leadership team, uh, with coming to the whole church through the questionnaire, after approaching lots of different venues uh, around the Yate area, we've come to the point where we think the best option for us going forward to physical gatherings is a four o'clock afternoon service at St Nick's Church in Abbotswood. And this is obviously very new. Uh, it's new from the perspective of it being a new venue, uh, a new environment in which we'll be meeting. But I imagine for most of us, it's new in terms of timing. Uh, and going for an afternoon service will clearly be uh, a very different idea to what probably for lots of us we've done previously, uh, which is go to church either in the mornings or the evenings. And we just want to state from the outset that this isn't our 20 year vision. Uh, this isn't what the next two decades of Christ the Rock are going to look like. This is very much what we think is opening up for us in terms of the season ahead. And I just want to give you three key reasons behind uh, what's brought us to this point. So the first is that missionally, we think St Nick's is a fantastic venue for positioning our Sunday gatherings. It's centrally located uh, right in the heart of South Yate. It's clearly visible to all the surrounding area and residential housing. Uh, it's already used by lots of different community groups across the week. And we're hoping that because uh, we're obviously using another church's building, it'll show people uh, a high level of unity between our different church bodies. So missionally, we think it's really well positioned, but also in terms of COVID, we think that for the months ahead, uh, there really is the potential for there to be a heightened uncertainty and perhaps for some anxiety over how coronavirus is going to affect uh, life in general, but particularly larger gatherings of people indoors. And so we felt like it was really important uh, to meet somewhere where we could, as much as we can, help people feel secure in terms of the spread of the virus. And for those of you who have been to St Nick's, you'll know that it's got a lovely, large, uh, very spacious main room, which is where we'll be hosting our church services. Uh, there's lots of doors to the outside from this main room, so it's very well ventilated, lots of windows too. Uh, space for us to be sat socially distanced if we want, but also for the building as a whole, um, it's still very well ventilated to the outside, but because of the different rooms and the layout, we think there's the potential to have uh, certain areas for people to sit uh, apart from the main room, but still connected to it, where they can sit socially distanced, wearing masks and so on, and just have that feeling at least uh, of feeling more secure. So missionally, we think St Nick's really works. Uh, in terms of COVID, we think it's a good option. Um, but also practically, uh, it actually ticks a lot of boxes. When we came to you with the church questionnaire, uh, there were five key priorities that came out across our community. Uh, there was a desire for there to be rooms for children and youth activities, uh, ease of access, ventilation, being big enough for us all to meet in one place and being in or nearby Yate itself. And St Nick's meets each of these uh, with the additional mini bonuses of uh, being very good in terms of being able to do refreshments from their kitchen uh, but also having uh, very useful parking facilities and, and lots of other practical stuff so like i said we think this is a really good decision for us going forwards however we do recognize that having an afternoon meeting uh, might be particularly challenging for some of us Either perhaps like me, uh, you're used to having a Sunday morning meeting and it will be a bit of a shift uh, in terms of lifestyle to move to the afternoons. But we also recognise that actually there are going to be people who already have commitments uh, on Sunday afternoons. And we do understand that this might be a really challenging piece of news for you if that's where you are. And so we want to say very clearly um, that this is a decision we're going to put a review in at the end of this year. 
So as we get towards late December, early January, we'll come back to you as a church community and try and get a sense of your views, your feelings about how the previous few months have gone. And then from that, we'll decide what to do going forwards. But I just want to end by making uh, a quick point, uh, which is that whilst for many, uh, like myself, Sunday mornings are an ingrained time uh, for church life. For lots of non-church goers, Sunday mornings are a real barrier. Uh, lots of children's activity groups meet on Sunday mornings. Lots of sports clubs meet on Sunday mornings. Uh, lots of people enjoy going away at the weekend and coming home at some point on Sunday afternoon. And so our hope is that through having an afternoon gathering, uh, we'll be able to reach out to people who perhaps otherwise won't be able to connect with our community. So I'm going to pass over to Steve and Lucy now. Thanks, Matt, for just uh, updating our church family and church community on this very exciting news. So I'm sure for many of you, it will be a little bit scary. It might sound something that you don't want to do. It might sound something so new you can't get your head around it. But we just really trust God. We really feel as a leadership team that this is of God. We think this is the next season. We believe this is a new era. So we're not going back to a new normal. We're actually forging a new era, a new pathway. But as a church family and community, it's really important that you feel happy and we move together as one, as unity. And so what I'd ask is if you've got any questions, concerns, then please, please do speak to um, any of the leadership team. Um, you can arrange for time with Lucy and myself with coffee or chat, uh, Zoom or meet in our garden. Um, you can talk to Matt. So any of the leadership team, any of the elders, and we'd love to hear your views, whether positive or negative. And please, please feel free to be honest because we are church. We are a family. We're a community. So everybody's voice is important. But we really feel that this is uh, something that the Lord has put forward and uh, we really feel it's an opportunity. We're also going to be holding meetings in the summer where we will have some uh, more extensive consultations, particularly with the home group leaders and ministry team leaders and key uh, leaders within the church who are serving and ministering and leading teams. And so there will be opportunity to put your own feedback through the home groups and there'll be opportunity to feed into that process and then at the end of the year we're going to do another consultation so this as Matt said this isn't forever this isn't the next 20 year plan this is just till the end of the year where we will review the situation and we really believe that this is something that will uh, be a good structure going forward but we fully accept that there's a review point at the end of the year and there's opportunity to consult with you and to discuss this as one family as one church as one community um, and then we can make further decisions going into 2022. Lucy. Yeah as Steve said we appreciate that this is um, a new step and we're all made differently God has made us all unique and for some of us we might be feeling I'm really excited it's something new and some of us might find new things um, an exciting way forward some of us um, I know I'm one of them find change more difficult and the idea of doing something new and such a huge change might feel strange and hard to get our heads around and we need to kind of understand that we're all different and we need to accept each other differently and be sensitive to each other and um, so what we'd like more than anything is for us all to pray behind this um, it's God's church, it's not our church, and we really would appreciate prayer. Um, and that's praying for our own feelings as well, that we can put those in front of God and just pray that we want his way for his church and that we can lay our own feelings into his hands too and just pray that we want what God wants for his church. And that can be quite hard because sometimes it's hard to understand what's our own feelings and what's what God wants, but we really want what's best for CTR, what God wants for his best, because we know that God wants what's best um, mm -hmm. and that's what we want. So can we ask that you pray um, for our church and for each other 
um, don't just pray for yourself, pray for other people in our church who might really struggle with this decision. Um, and also pray that if it's not the right decision, that we'll be, be shown that as well, because we do want what's right. And although we feel we've really prayed into this and at the moment it does feel that it's the right step forward, um, we are open and willing to hear from God if things change or if this isn't the right step forward. So please do pray. Um, and we want to be led by God in this. So it's very exciting. It's very new. But equally, um, it could be hard to get your head around. And for me, after um, 30 odd, 40 years uh, attending church of the Sunday morning, an afternoon service uh, is really a, a different concept. But we really feel that this is an opportunity to really meet together in a church building and have plenty of space for all the things we do. But do get in touch if you've got questions, concerns and queries. But we really look forward together as church, working this out together. We are one in Christ. It is about us moving forward as church and therefore you are so much part of that and we want to hear your voice. But please join us in prayer and get in touch with any questions. Bye for now.